we'll take you through a quotation. Washing the faces and the guttering. So this is a pretty good example of the fairly average. What I used to do originally was clean all the faces by hand, like sponge them down and um, then dry them off with a cloth. So when I was doing it that way, in my mind I'd be thinking per ladder position. Okay, so if I put the ladder where one of the clips was, I could usually reach to nearly to the next clip and nearly to that clip on the left hand side as well. So I would charge that as five pounds. So I still price it in the same, much the same way, only I will be applying a cleaning solution and then washing it um, with the pure water system that we use. It ends up being a much quicker method and it often comes up really well as well uh, especially with the cleaning solution we really like it so that's what I'm quoting for so if we come along here and we kind of more or less count the clips so I've got um, five pounds every third clip and the 25 for the top so then we've got five 10, 15, um, including the down pipes as well. I've charged 25 for the top and 20 for the bottom. Okay, so we're going to be washing all the plastic um, there. Now, if we come around this far side, okay, I'm also going to charge um, 15 or 20 for the apex there and this bit here. So let's say 20. Same on this side, 15, 20 pounds for the fascia boarding down this side. Back here, we more or less count the clips, so we've got 5 pounds, 10 pounds, 15, 20, 25. I'd be inclined to make it 30 to include um, the down pipes as well. So how much did we get? 25 for the front, top, 20 below. 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, all together. Yeah? To so wash down all the fascias, all the plastics, all the downpipes. Okay? I'd say that was a pretty average price. Same things apply. You might want to adjust the price higher or lower depending on the location, depending on where you are in the country, depending on whether you're in a village or whether you're near town. Um, whether they're really, really mucky or not, um, you might want to adjust the price a little bit accordingly. They've asked me to quote this job and it's not even really that dirty, to be honest, so I'll probably keep it around that sort of price mark. This customer also wants me to clear out the guttering. i count it in much the same way. So we had 25 for the front at the top, 20 below. 30 on this side. So I don't count the sides because there's no um, guttering there, it's just fascia boarding. Now because I'm doing washing the fascia boards and the guttering, to clearing out the guttering together, I wouldn't charge so much for clearing out the guttering. I'll probably reduce the price. So we've got 75 all together to clear out the guttering. I'll probably reduce that, so I'd say 40 pounds. These are, these are rules of thumb. Okay, you've got, you got to use your initiative. So I'm just talking like ballpark type stuff, really. Very often what I do for a customer is I'll, if there's multiple jobs, what I'll often do is um, offer a discount because they're having multiple jobs done. So I'll price everything individually and then I'll say I'll offer you a discount if you have everything done, for example. Um, a lot of people, if they're asking for a lot of jobs to be done, will usually ask me for a discount. But I will give them a discount if there's goodwill there with the, between me and the customer. So, you know, that kind of keeps things sweet, sweetens the deal, that kind of thing. It's nice. Um, so for the fascia boarding, what did we say? 110? So then to clear out the guttering as well, I'd usually charge around 75. Yeah. But I'm just going to add on 40 to the washing the fascia board price. Usually a round number like that. I don't like to say a round number like that because um, I think it just sounds like you've plucked a number out of the air, oh, 150. So I usually like to end the, end the quote with a five right. <laughs> or an odd number. Okay. So we're going to price it around 150 in total. So that's it. Hope you found that helpful. Hope it hasn't been too rambling. Um, so I hope that helps you 
um, with your quotes, I mean, if you're making a quote, you've got to think of um, the circumstances in your area, what the market is like for people quoting this kind of thing, whether there's a lot of competition, um, that kind of thing, whether you've already built up a reputation in the area. So, so really it's up to you and your business and your approach. But hopefully there's some tips there that will help you out. Um, check out some other videos on my channel and I hope to see you again soon.